Hi, welcome back to Pamela and Pishi's videos. I am going to tell you uh, the sole purpose today of adultery. But before that, let me tell you a story. I recently heard a very powerful man of God sharing about the time when he was a lecturer at a university. He used to run around um, teaching people about anointing and he had heard that there was a girl who craved on campus to be anointed. And this girl was born and bred in, in, a, in, a, in a very uh, Christian family. But uh, she had one foot in the world and one foot in the word, like most people before they commit completely to the Lord. So she was what we call a dabbler. She would double into the world and double a little bit into, into, the, into the word. So one time the lecturer was saying, this man of God was saying, one time on campus there was no electricity for weeks. And after a shortage of electricity, and of course this is in Africa, after a shortage of electricity, they had a big shortage of water. There was no water on campus. The first one week, it was bearable. And the second week on campus, the toilets were full. I mean, it was like there were maggots crawling everywhere. The, the toilets were overflowing. I mean, there was tissue. It, it was such a pong on the campus. Most of the students went back home. So this girl who wanted this anointing, she had been home for a week and she came back home. Her parents had just dropped her back on campus and she said she ran into the uh ablution uh, into the toilets and there were three of them and uh, she opened one door and boy was there a stink she saw maggots everywhere and all manner of 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 horrible things just everyone she closed that door she went into opened another one the other one was even worse she closed it and she opened the third one she couldn't even open the third one because it everything was just on the floor and she closed it and she started running going into the bushes as she was running into the bushes she heard an audible voice calling her name and she turned around she couldn't hear what it was and who it was she couldn't see and then she heard a voice say to her where are you going to and she said i'm going to the toilet and the voice said to her but you've just come from the toilet she says i'm going in the bushes the, the voice said well, why are you going in the bushes she says because the toilets are filthy i can't use them and the voice said to her this that is the same with you i want to use you too but you are so filthy i cannot use you <laughs> If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please hit the subscribe button, press the bell, and if you like this video, leave a comment and press the like button. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscriptions in a short time. Support this channel. This story I tell you is exactly what happens to your soul when you double in adultery. Stay with me. Like I was saying, adultery has got one sole purpose. Adultery is the father of thieves. Adultery comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Adultery, like the, 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 the filth I was talking about, it defiles your soul. It kills everything good in you. It, it, it kills your, 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 your divine creativity. It kills your vision. It kills your destiny. You know, we read a lot, we read all the time about the story of, um, of, of David and Bathsheba. And uh, we know how it turned out. But so we read the story from a different angle. David didn't know it was going to turn out like that. In Oh, in the whole Bible, if you read the story of David, the time he was with Bathsheba was the worst time of his life. He had not only wronged uh, Bathsheba he, and Uriah and the nation he had been um, he had been given to, to to rule over. He had wronged 
God also. I want you when you finish this to read Psalm 50. Psalm read 51, Psalm 50 and you not 50, feel the Psalm anguish 51. in his soul. The problem is when we get into adultery, we do not understand that we cannot just get in and come out whenever we want to. It doesn't happen like that. In the beginning, it, it starts like a game, a feel-good game. But God has created every human being. We all have these chemicals, yeah? That when you, a boy and a girl meet, these chemicals, they kick in. These are bonding chemicals and they are godly. It's a godly thing to have these chemicals when it's in the right relationship but when these chemicals kick in in the wrong relationship these endorphins these chemicals and you get addicted to the wrong person somebody else's husband or somebody else's wife or somebody else who's not married you're not married to it can be hell because you are now in a soul tie with this person i am going to make a lot of videos on adultery i'm going to teach you how to get out of this soul tie i'm going to teach you what a soul tie is once you are in this soul tie it's difficult to get out a soul tie is so powerful that you can try to get out at some point you realize that what you're doing is not godly and you try to get out but you can't because you are trapped now in this situation i've done a lot of research on on this topic and and psychologists and therapists they say a per, for a person to get out of of an adulterous relationship when they realize it's wrong it takes a minimum of seven attempts before they finally entangle themselves and it requires the grace of God because once you, once you are in this entanglement it's like you're on drugs it's like you're on drugs literally that's why you see a man who had a good job a good wife a good family leaves his family for a woman who you like what what did, did, did that person see in that person because they are on drugs it's really these chemicals are like drugs and you do not want to get entangled in an adulterous relationship it comes and it steals your divine creativity too because now these drugs have got you so crazy when you wake up you're just thinking about this person you go to bed, you're just thinking about this person. And in between, all you're thinking about is this person. The word for this is called limerence. Because you are, search the word limerence. Because you are in limerence with these people, you become a person, you become unproductive. It's the worst kind of abuse you can do to yourself, adultery. You, you're not creative anymore. If you, you, you're not bothered about your work, you're not bothered about your children, you just want to get a hit. Uh, from 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 this person a fix you waste your time it's such a time waster adultery it takes it steals everything that you were heading to if you were it and it steals your vision too that is the problem it steals your vision and you have to recreate yourself because it's so uh, adultery is about deception it's based on deception because you cannot especially if you're a christian or if you are just a person who's wholesome and has values for a person to be able to to have an adulterous relationship and have peace with it you have to reprogram yourself you have to reprogram and denounce your core values you actually have to reprogram your faith you have to start telling yourself that actually what God meant about adultery is something else. You have to tell yourself sin, adultery is actually not sin. You have to tell yourself God, you, you live and go as far as convincing yourself that God does not exist. You will have to reprogram your thinking completely for you to have peace in adultery. Adultery robs you of your peace. You will have no peace peace if you're in an adulterous relationship and you are truly born again you are really walking in the word of god it's the person changes completely i remember i used to have an uncle he had they had he was married to my auntie they had five children he was the most amazing father in the world the most amazing provider him and my auntie they were best friends like this he started having an affair 
he he changed completely he was a completely different person he would come home he would see my auntie and it was almost like she just wrangled something in him and he would beat the living daylights out of her and he would leave and it, the cycle would go on and on and on like that what was in africa they would say he was that the woman had some, done some juju on him there is no juju. He was in a soul tie. When you are in a soul tie, your vision, your perception is blurred. You can't see further than your nose. So what I am telling you, beware of that Delilah in your life. Because Delilah comes to do only one thing. Delilah will steal your vision. Delilah will, doesn't come alone. Delilah comes in with the Philistines. And the Philistines will chop off your hair and they will steal your strength, your power. You know, you could have been going this way. When you double in adultery, you change the direction you are going. You don't only change the course of your life you change the course of everybody connected to you the course of the life of everybody connected to you especially your children and your children's children adultery is the one sin sin against your own body against your own body and satan knows that it's the thing that defiles your soul the most it's the one sin that you sell your soul just to have the, uh, just to have a few moments of escape and pleasure with somebody you sell your soul to have a few moments of pleasure and escape with somebody it's it's based on deceit and the lies and the illicitness of the whole thing going on makes it it makes the makes it even more exciting because you are in la 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 land with this person it's not real what's going on and you better pray hard that you come back to earth you come back to earth very soon before you destroy your family your empire and everything your reputation your character and everything that you have worked so hard for because it is a thief adultery comes to steal to destroy and to kill you and in its wake it's gonna kill everything in your life be careful of Delilah the next video I'm going to talk about this the the, the power of the the power that is in this soul tie and I'm also going to teach you how to get out of an adulterous affair. God bless you. And don't forget to subscribe, to press the like button, the bell, and to share this video. And I pray that something has touched you in your core and you can get out of that trap that Satan has set for you. In Jesus' name, amen.